Okay, art students, the second step of this project is, of course, to make your food. Now, I made a bowl for this example because I'm going to make an ice cream sundae, and because the clay is really firm, I went ahead and trimmed it up. Um, to start off, I'm going to just deconstruct this ice cream sundae for you because it uses several different techniques, a hollowed out form, a slab, and a coil. Um, and then there's also the problem of the cherry stem, which is really, really thin. And so I'll talk to you a little bit about that and some options there as well. So for the ice cream scoop, I used a big ball of clay and then I kind of shaped it and molded it. And then I scooped out the extra clay on the inside with a loop tool. So if you're gonna use um, a big piece of clay to sculpt your food, it needs to be hollow and it can be no more than a finger thickness in width. So um, use your loop tool. For the hot fudge sauce, I rolled a slab and then I cut it into this shape to look like it was dripping down. And then while the clay was pretty wet, I pressed it on top of that ice cream scoop and then I used a little bit of water just to smooth the sides. For the dollop of whipped cream, I made a small coil, and then on top of that, I just rolled a small ball of clay. And then for the stem, I also chose to use clay, but that meant that the stem had to be a little bit thicker than an actual cherry stem would be. Um, another thing that I did is I poked a hole from underneath that whipped cream through to the cherry to make sure that any air that might be trapped in there has a way to get out. My final step will be to score and slip those elements together and to the ice cream scoop. And then um, I'm not gonna worry about scoring and slipping the ice cream to the dish because when I glaze this, it will seal the ice cream to the dish automatically. But if I wanted to, I could also fire these two pieces separately. And that's a choice that you'll get to make as well.